Hello my foodie Vonics friends, it's been a while since we baked together hasn't it? Um, so I'm here today with our recipe for this week called Haystack Cookies. There is no baking involved but as you can see I've got a little saucepan here on the stove. We will be stirring in a little of the liquid ingredients so you will need mum and dad to help you. Um, but we'll start with the dry ingredients which are the ones that you can just put into a bowl. I have got a jug handy here for us. So I'm going to put in one cup of oats. Uh, oh, my stove is not on yet, so I'll put the jug just here. Pour in my one cup of oats. Um, the recipe I'm making is actually double the ingredients. I'm halving it, so if you want more cookies, you put in two cups of oats. There we go, one cup of oats. And half a cup of coconut. Remember how half a cup is smaller than a whole cup? There we go. Half a cup is half of a whole cup. If you don't like coconut, you can crush your favorite cereal into crumbs and put that in instead. So half a cup. Again, if you're making the whole recipe, you'll need a full cup. But I'm just going to put a half a cup in. And then you pour your coconut or your cereal flakes into there. Now I need to move them off of the stove because I will be switching the stove off. Oh, oh sorry, on. I'll just move those over there. And then I'll give our coconut and our oats a stir. Mix it together because you see it's all separate at the moment. Stir them up so that they mix together. Make a delicious crunchy flavour. I wonder what cereal flakes you will use. Let me know if you decide to crush some cereal into your oats, oatmeal haystack cookies. Oh, my mistake. All right, so everything is off my stove, make sure. And now I'm going to put my stove on. This is the part where mommy and daddy need to help you because you're going to dissolve butter, sugar, cocoa, and milk into this pot or into your pot. Oh, let's just get the right plate on. Lots of beeping sounds, aren't there? All right. So, in this pot, I need to add a quarter cup. A quarter cup is even smaller than a half cup. There they all are. There's the whole cup, this one. There's the half cup, smaller. And, whoops, a quarter cup is even smaller. So, a quarter cup of, we'll start with the milk so that that can warm up in the pot while we wait for the rest of the ingredients. You can use any milk if you don't use drink dairy milk, you can add any milk you like. There goes my quarter cup of milk into the pot. Okay, just put the milk out of the way over there. Then my quarter cup of sugar. Remember to double the ingredients if you're making a whole batch. I'm making a half batch. There's my quarter cup, oh, not quite full. Quarter cup of sugar. It's stuck behind because of the milk, but that's fine because we're still going to add a quarter cup of cocoa. Oh, my cocoa box is, is brand new. Just have to open that up. I might have to get a pair of scissors to cut open the bag. My little stove over here. This plant is in my way, but we're actually moving house. So I have to put the plant over here because our cupboards are all gone. I just need to get a pair of scissors. One secky. Just over here in the drawer, I'm getting my pair of scissors to cut open the... Um, Um, oh. Okay, as I mentioned, I am moving house, so I actually don't have a pair of scissors handy. So I'm going to use a sharp knife. I'm going to face it away from me so I don't hurt myself. Just open the bag of cocoa. There we go. Quarter cup of cocoa. That'll give it the lovely cho. <laughs> Lovely chocolatey, chocolatey flavour. Remember, we always tidy up our messes after we finish baking. Okay, quarter cup of cocoa. And last of all is our quarter cup of butter spread. Whichever butter spread you prefer, that's the one you use. I'm going to need my spoons to scoop it out into my quarter cup. Um, well, this plant really is in my way, isn't it? That's okay. Quarter cup of butter. Just measure it roughly. It won't, it won't break the recipe if you add a little bit less or a little bit more. It's okay. That'll do for me. Quarter cup of butter. 
into the milk and sugar and cocoa. Now we're going to stir this up for um, five minutes while it dissolves. And then we're going to pour it into the um, dry ingredients so that they can blend together and make those delicious cookies. Now remember boys and girls, this is the part where an adult needs to help you. If you're allowed to um, stir the ingredients with an adult, be sure that um, you get permission first. Remember my whisk? My whisk is the thing that dissolves all lumps. So there we have the milk, the butter, and the cocoa, and the sugar. What happens when we put it on heat? It dissolves together. Well, the sugar dissolves, the, crystal, the sugar crystals dissolve into the liquid. The butter melts into liquid and they all blend together in a delicious chocolatey goo. So, we'll just do that. We cook it for five minutes so that the sugar can actually do more than just dissolve. The sugar actually, um, not crystallizes, it becomes more sticky to form sort of a toffee. It really is a delicious recipe. So there you can see the butter starting to melt. I might turn the stove a little bit lower now. I had it on really high so it could melt quickly. Us. Okay, so I have a really good surprise for you today. Um, I'll be nearing off making my recipes for Foodie Phonics because some of our friends have decided that they'd like to hear me read stories more often. So I might do one recipe a month and then read stories for the rest of the month each week. So what I'm going to do today is tell you that I have a special Foodie Phonics recipe certificate signed by me. If you've made any of my recipe, recipes over the years since you've been watching, I will email the certificate to your mum and dad's email and they can print it off for you to say that you're a special foodie phonics chef and it's even signed by me. So if you'd like to do that, please comment below and let me know what recipe you've made and I'd even like to see a photo of the recipes that you've made. Have a look, everything's melted together now, can you see? I don't want to tip it too much because I don't want to spill. We've got a delicious chocolatey mixture now. So all the sugar and the butter and the cocoa and the milk has dissolved and melted together. So yes, if you've made any of my recipes, it doesn't matter which one, let me know in the comments. Send me a pic if you'd like. And then I can send you a Foodie Phonics Chef Certificate, personally signed by me. And then next year, we'll go back to doing recipes just once a month and we'll read stories through the month for the rest of the time. If you have any special recipes you'd like me to bake on our Foodie Phonics channel, let me know. I'll be more than happy to make them as well. So, I think all of our sugar has dissolved now. We just have to look at the bottom of the pot to see that there's no sugar. Now, like I mentioned, I am a movie house, so I have packed up a lot of my um, pots and pans and bowls. So what I'm going to do is um, pour the dry ingredients into the pot. Usually you would pour the hot ingredients into your bowl, but I don't, this is plastic, so I can't pour the hot ingredients into um, the bowl. So I'm going to pour them into the hot mixture. There they are, from my jug. Make sure that's off of the hot stove. And then you get to stir it. My whisk out the way for you there. Yeah. Oh. That's okay. Get my spoon from the butter and stir it all up into chocolatey haystacks. And then you get your um, spoon, spoonfuls onto your baking tray and put them in the fridge. And that's it for half an hour. And then while you're cleaning up all your baking mess and your spills and all your dishes, they're going to get nice and hard in the fridge. And then you get to eat them. Your kitchen will be clean and your morning tea or your afternoon tea or even maybe your dessert or actually even breakfast because oats is a breakfast cereal and if you've used breakfast cereal instead of coconut you could use them for a breakfast treat and there you go chocolatey haystacks <gasps> don't they look good all right let me get a dish for us i don't think i've got a tray ready i've packed all my trays as well all right i'm just getting a dish out of my drawer over here for us to put them into. Okay. Let's have a look. Actually, they might be a bit warm for a plastic dish. I need to go and get a, a glass dish. One secky. Just over here next to you in the cupboard. Okie dokie. Now, um, I'm going to have to hold it. Whoops, it's spinning around. 
here we go. Chocolatey delicious haystacks. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can put it down on the next plate because that plate's not hot and it's ceramic. So there we go. Chocolatey haystacks for your lovely morning tea treat. Can you see them over here? Oh, I'll have to lift the plate up for you, won't I? Okay. You can hear talking in the background. That's because uh, my family is working from home today. There we are. Chocolatey haystacks. I'll show you how they're looking. Yum! Those are going to go in the fridge and I'm going to enjoy them for my morning tea. Thanks for joining me. Remember to let me know which recipes you've baked. Bye for now boys and girls.